Hello everyone here and welcome to another 5 underrated anime video. Ready for more anime to add to your list? Unless of course you've already seen them. Let us begin. Oh but first, have you subscribed to any of that bell yet? I'll wait. Done? Okay. Okay, let's go on with the list. This first one is Mayo Chiki. This anime is essentially about a guy, Kinjiro, with gynophobia, fear of women, who finds out that the butler of, a, of rich girl Kanade, tamed stu, name, named Subaru, is actually a girl in disguise. To make sure he doesn't reveal her secret, she and Kanade decide to help him get rid of his gynophobia. The, it's an anime with a gr with great comedy and, and edgy scenes, along with a pretty solid uh, storyline. I'd say go give this one a shot. The next one is Miss Caretaker of Suna Haruso. This anime is about Shina Aki who heads to Tokyo to try and be more masculine, you know, or at least learn to be. He, so he, he moves into the Sunahara boarding house, not knowing that he'll be living with three older female classmates as well as the voluptuous caretaker. To say that this anime gives off big Ara Ara vibes wouldn't be wrong. I'm 100% sure that the main reason people were, that that is the main reason people were turned off by it. But go past that and you'll find a hilarious anime that's just overall a fun watch. The next one is MM. This anime is about curing masochism. That is literally the theme for the entire anime. Okay, I'll go a bit a bit more deeper into this. This anime is about Taro Sato seeking help to cure his extreme extreme masochism by going to the second volunteer club recommended by his best friend Tatsukichi. There he finds someone who is willing to help by literally beating the masochism out of him. Oh, don't forget the member with a big case of androphobia, fear of men. It is basically a slapstick style anime that revolves around ma uh, masochism and other fetishes and is just goddamn hilarious. This next one is My Little Monster. This anime is basically the definition of opposites attract. It starts with Misotani Shizuku, a girl who's only interested in studying, bringing some handouts to Yoshida Haru, the troublemaker who hasn't come to school because he spilled blood on the first day. Haru gets attached to Shizuku, and is trying to f get her to fall in love with him. If any of that sounds like simping, then you would kind of be correct. It is more like they are trying to bring the best out of each other, Shizuku getting Haru to stop acting with physical violence even though he means well when he does it, and Haru getting Shizu uh, Shizu Shizuku out of her book to experience the world. My memory might be fuzzy about the latter, but I'm 90% of the former. Also, this anime is where this meme comes from. The next one is, my mental choices are completely interfering with my romantic, with my school romantic comedy. Have a long title, ain't it? This anime is about Kanade Amakusa wanting a normal high school life, but has a curse named Absolute Choice. It is a mental curse that makes him decide between two Strange options, most of the time perverse options. During one time, he chose an option that a that has a girl fall from the sky, which obviously happens in the most anime of ways. A girl named Chocolate, yes, Chocolate without the E, delivers a message that if he does certain missions, then his curse will be cured. The problem with these missions are that they are even more outlandish than any previous choice he's ever made. There isn't much more to really say about this, except that it is crude, hilarious, and very edgy. And so, there are five random underrated anime, or at least I think so. I go out there, watch some rated anime. Also, do you think any of these five are underrated, or am I being too lenient, too lenient with how I view anime? Check out some of my other videos. Hit subscribe and the bell to be notified of future videos. And I hope you return for more. Bye-bye.